is social literacy. Social literacy means being able to socially communicate to other individuals in a positive way, bringing the values, knowledge, and skills you have learned and to not offend people or make them feel any negative emotions. In vlog number one, I have tackled about multicultural literacy. Link of vlog one will be on the comment section of this video. What is the connection of multicultural literacy and social literacy? The connection of these two is that they are both dependent on each other. To be aware of other cultures, a person must have values and knowledge and how to work and connect with others. Why should we teach this literacy in school? Social literacy should be taught in school so that students will know how to deal with others and to lessen the negative effects of not having social skills. What will it make us in the present and future? In the present, we will be aware, understand, and practice how to properly talk to other individuals and enhance our values. In the future, the quality of our life will be better and our relationship with others will be strengthened. What competencies must be developed for this literacy? The first competency is self-awareness. Me and you should have self-awareness in order to objectively evaluate ourselves, manage our emotions, align our behavior with our values, and understand correctly how others see us. The second competency is self-management. We need to develop this competency so that we have self-control and will know how to regulate our emotions, thoughts, and behaviors effectively in different situations. The third competency is social awareness. This competency must be developed in order for us to have the ability to take the perspective and empathize with others. This includes the people from diverse backgrounds and cultures. The fourth competency is responsible decision making. The ability to make Constructive and respectful choices about personal behavior and social interaction must be developed and it should be based on consideration of ethical standards, social norms, and the realistic evaluation of consequences of various actions. The last competency is relationship skill. We need to develop this competency for us to have the ability to establish and maintain healthy and rewarding relationship with diverse individuals and groups. Here are some activities that will help build this literacy across different subjects. The first activity is share a story. Teachers must allot some time to form a circle with students and give time to everyone to share a story in front of the class. It is a best activity for students to learn how to empathize and practice different ways of talking and acting. This will also lessen shyness when it is always done. The last activity is emotion charades. Instead of just saying the word, the students will act out each emotion using their facial and body expressions. This will be a good practice in guessing and understanding different emotion that is good for practicing social skills. That ends my video. Thank you for watching.